Hello, I'm Felipe Simões, Project Analyst at Blasi, and I'll be talking about post-publication linking. In addition to funding from Arcadia and Bisco, Blasi is part of a network which includes CERN, Zenodo, GBIF, Cedils, and many others. To recap, the linking of publications within the Blasi workflow is based on taxonomic treatments. A taxonomic treatment is a section in the scientific publication documenting the features of a related group of organisms or taxa. Treatments have been the building blocks of how data about taxa are provided ever since the beginning of modern taxonomy. Each scientifically described taxon has at least one taxonomic treatment, which is its original description. The treatment is then divided into sections, with each one of them being relevant to specific uses. In this example, we can see the treatment's nomenclature, fear citations, treatment citations, material citations, and a description. In terms of how these sections can be used, for instance, treatment citations can be assembled to recreate a taxon's publication history, while a material citation can then be used to map the same specimen across different publications and be matched against each other. So, how do we get an actual digitized treatment? The standard procedure to extract a taxonomic treatment is from a scientific publication stored as PDF, converting it to a machine-readable format from where we can also extract an article's metadata, images, tables, ref and references, and then convert them all following FAIR principles. Another possible route is via XML, such as is the case with those articles published by uh, publishers like Pensoft. Both the converted PDF, now transforming into an image markup file, or IMF, and the XML slash textbook documents are then stored and read by a range of destinations such as GBIF, Checklist Bank, and NCBI. Let's take this 2019 Zoo Taxa article on Echinoderms as an example. It will be ingested by the conversion software, the data will be extracted, and its first stop for the publication upon extraction is Pazi's own treatment bank. Where it, where it will be quality checked, either automatically or manually, by PLASIS personnel. Once the checking process is completed, the data transits to its linked destinations, conferring new IDs or linking previously existing ones. In the current slide, we can see the links within PLASI for ZooBank, GBEEF, Checklist Bank, Zenodo, PubMed, and KIMS in PubMed Central. Now, the article is stored on Zenodo via the Biodiversity Literature Repository Community, or BLR, where you can also access the publication itself if it is open access, in addition to other links, keywords, and metadata. It is also stored on GBIF with mapping of records, citations, figures, and other data of relevance. ZooBank. Checklist Bank, PubMed, and Biodiversity PNC. The treatments themselves also get IDs of their own across the platforms. In addition to the ones I already showed you moments ago for the publications, which I will not go through again, the Catalog of Life is also part of, of the hub, ENA, and Wikidata. For this particular slide, I opted to showcase a T-Rex deposition instead, where you can see the range of linking within Wikidata itself, which also works as a hub. We can see images, uh, links to treatments, and the likes. The taxonomic history is recreated also in single species with all its citations, synonyms, and likes, in addition to its related materials. As can be seen in this slide, a timeline of new descriptions, citations, and deprecations is presented, as well as the number of specimens cited in each publication, both types or non-types. This can be expanded by either hovering your mouse or clicking on, on certain uh, arrows. Finally, a different type of linkage can be achieved by bio via biological interactions. In this example, the COVID-19 task force extracted treatments from bat literature, while virus host interactions were fetched from specialized literature. So 
as providing interactions between horseshoe bats' taxonomic treatments and coronaviruses. As can be seen on the right-hand side of the screen, with each species being related to one or more viruses. And here we can see the, the links that I mentioned right now within the Global Biotic Interactions website or blog. I've only scraped the surface of how publications can be linked, so it is evident that even more can be achieved in terms of publication and data linking, depending on where the efforts and interests lie. Thank you very much for your attention.